Hello everyone, my name is Aastha. I welcome you all to our classes for International English Olympiad for class 9th. Today, this is our 12th class wherein we will be doing the topic of adverbs. For adverbs, you will be understanding when are the adverbs used, what are the various situations in which we use an adverb, how an adverb is formed, how to identify one, and then you know we will be doing these kind of differences between nouns and adverbs and adjectives, all of that. So, let's get started. The first question that comes to our mind is, what exactly are adverbs? Kisi bhi topic ko karne se pehle, uska meaning samaj lena bohat important hai. Aur, jaise ki hum karte aai hai, hum iske thode se examples lenge, aur un examples mein se hi, hum iskya meaning derive karenge. Alright, examples hum isli lete hai, taaki examples se asani se samaj aap pahe. आपको या अगर मैं आपको सिर्फ मीनिंग बता दूंगी तो आपको मीनिंग तो याद करना नहीं है क्योंकि है उसमें ये तो नहीं आएगा ना कि व्हाट आर एडवर्ब्स उसमें ये आएगा कि जैसे चूज दी एडवर्ब या फिर इसमें से आप करेक्ट एडवर्ब ऑप्शंस भी से चूज करिए एडवर्ब्स के प्रैक्टिकल क्वेश्चंस आएंगे ये तो नहीं पूछेगा आपसे कोई कि कि क्या है होते हैं एडवर्ब्स बट आपको उसके सॉल्व का आपको उसके क्वेश्चंस का आंसर देने के लिए आपको पता होना चाहिए कि एडवर्ब्स होते क्या हैं तो इसीलिए हम ये भी समझेंगे कि एडवर्ब्स क्या होते हैं बट थ्रू आर एग्जांपल्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट नाउ सी देयर आर देयर इज अ क्वेश्चन इज अ सेंटेंस ओवर हियर इस सेंटेंस को हम पढ़ें तो इट सेज शी लुक्ड एट हर गिफ्ट हैप्पीली अपने गिफ्ट को कैसे देख रही थी द गर्ल गॉट अ गिफ्ट एंड शी वॉज लुकिंग एट अ गिफ्ट हैप्पीली हाउ वॉज शी लुकिंग एट द गिफ्ट हैप्पीली शी वॉज हैप्पी टू सी द गिफ्ट हाउ डू शी फील शी वॉज हैप्पी एंड शी वॉज लुकिंग एट द गिफ्ट हैप्पीली ऑल राइट रिमेंबर दिस She looked at a gift happily. कैसे देख रही थी How? We are answering the question How here? Okay? Here. Her father rarely surprised her like this. In this in this sentence, which question is being answered? How often? Means how often did her father surprise her like this? Rarely. So what is the answer here? Rarely. What was the question? How often? The question being answered in the form of rarely. Saying rarely her father surprised her like this. And the question is, there were bell. Here the sentence is, there were balloons everywhere. Okay. So which question is this sentence answering now where where were the balloons balloons were everywhere so the first one answered how the second one answered how often the third one has answering third one is answering where now next This question, this sentence is, her father got her a gift today. So this sentence is answering the question when. You see, her father got her a gift today. When did he get her a gift? Today. The question being answered is today. The fourth point is where, sorry, when and her father got her a gift today. There are different kinds of questions being answered in each sentence. Now here you see, she was completely surprised by the gift. Here, the question being answered is the fifth question which is to what extent? Matlab, wo kis limit ka, kis hat tak surprise thi? She was completely, wo ekdam सबसे ज्यादा शी वॉज कंप्लीटली सरप्राइज बाय द गिफ्ट ऑल राइट सो कंप्लीटली 
to what extent completely okay now from all this let's understand what adverbs are adverbs jo hote hain they describe a verb adjective or another adverb and answer these five questions the questions in ke humne examples liye the how how often to what extent when and where so these questions are answered by the words called adverbs and what do they describe they describe any verb or adjective or another adverb isko hum better understand karenge in next slide pe to hum hum sare examples lenge aur samjhenge to aapko better samajh aayega the first sentence was she looked at her gift she looked at her gift happily then the next one said her father rarely surprised her like this third one was there were balloons everywhere then her father got her a gift today the last one said she was completely surprised by the gift now you see the first question first question the first sentence is answering the question how and ab identify karo ki isme se kaun sa word hai jo ye question answer kar raha hai happily so what is uh, the adverb here happily adverb ki humne definition kya padhi hai adverbs are the words which describe a verb adjective another adverb and answer the question of answer any of these questions how to what extent etc so isme kaun sa word answer kar raha hai question happily and happily kya describe kar raha hai happily is describing the girl because she was looking at the gift happily okay now next the second sentence her father rarely surprised her like this here the question being answered is how often how often is being answered by which word rarely okay so it is the adverb because adverbs we know that they answer any of these following questions of how how often when where etc Okay. The third question. The third question. The third question is where. So in the third sentence, where ka jawab kaun sa word de raha hai? Everywhere. Where were the balloons? The balloons were everywhere. Okay. So the adverb here is everywhere. The next, the next question being answered is of when. now when her father got her a gift today when did her father get her a gift today all right so the adverb here is today because adverbs kya hote hain to describe karte hain kisi noun adverb ya adjective ko and answer karte hain questions so yahan pe answer kiya hai when me all right now the last one the last question being answered is to what extent to what extent was the girl surprised she was completely surprised she was completely surprised by the gift okay so these are the five adverbs these are the five questions jo adverbs answer karte hain how हाउ का हमें मिला है हैप्पीली से हाउ वॉज द गर्ल लुकिंग एट द गिफ्ट हैप्पीली हाउ ऑफन डिड हर फादर सरप्राइज हर लाइक दिस ही सब रेयरली सरप्राइज हर लाइक दिस 
and where did uh, where were the balloons they were everywhere when did the father gift get her a gift today and to what extent was she surprised she was completely surprised okay so these are the five examples of adverbs now we will see each category of adverbs and understand through examples let's start so the first type of adverbs that we are going to do are the ones that answer the questions of when these are the adverbs which tell us about when okay so we will see a few examples like after already before early now these are the few examples we will see them in sentences okay in sentences she will visit the hospital tomorrow so which at which question is being answered here when when will she visit the hospital tomorrow and which word is answering the question tomorrow so tomorrow becomes the adverb next the results were announced yesterday now when is being answered by which word yesterday so adverb here is what yesterday okay this is the first category of question first category of questions being answered these are the other adverbs which we can use while answering the questions of when now next category so the next category of adverbs are the ones which answer the questions of where let us see a few examples the adverbs are away everywhere here there inside these are only a few examples now the examples in sentences they will meet you there so the question so which which word is answering the question of where there where will they meet you they will meet you there then where do flowers bloom in spring the second sentence the adverb answering the question is everywhere all right so the second category is where now next the third category of adverbs are the ones which answer the questions of how how something is done how did that happen etc so the adverbs which answer the question of how could be easily happily loudly quickly quietly all right and now these is one of the sentence examples of this adverbs how do we use them in sentences he slipped away how did he slip away he quietly slipped away so the word answering the question of how is quietly so the adverb is quietly here another how does she write how does she work she works fast so the word which is answering the question of how is fast okay this was the third category now now another category is the adverbs answering the questions of to what extent to what extent matlab kis limit tak kis extent tak kis had tak enough extremely quiet to very these are a few adverbs which answer the questions of to what extent now if we use them in sentences she almost finished the work 
to what extent has she finished the work she has almost finished the work so which word is answering the question of to what extent almost so almost becomes the adverb then they were completely surprised by the windfall to what extent were they surprised by the windfall completely so the word which answers the question of to what extent is completely so these are this is the fourth category now next This is the fifth category of adverbs telling us how often does something happen frequency you see here um okay so now this is the chart that i have made for so that you can understand how often this for the how often adverbs chart these are all adverbs All of these, पर एक timeline बना दी है एक वो बना दी है जिससे अगर how often, if there is something that happens never, which means जो zero percent जो कभी भी नहीं होता, then that is never. Something that is that happens about five percent of the time, मतलब बहुत ही rare chances इसका होने के तो hardly ever. Ten percent मतलब सेल्डम थोड़ा बहुत हो जाता है ओकेजनली देन अगर फिफ्टी परसेंट टाइम्स होता है फिफ्टी परसेंट टाइम्स नहीं होता है तो समटाइम्स फिर फिफ्टी परसेंट से ज्यादा बार होता है अगर तो ऑफन ये मतलब ज्यादातर यही होता है एंड नॉर्मली नॉर्मली एट्टी परसेंट टाइम्स जब से यही चीज होती है तो हम उसे नॉर्मल सिचुएशन कहते हैं कि नॉर्मली दिस हैपन्स एंड नाइन्टी परसेंट जब मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स मतलब कुछ हो रहा है तो यूजली एंड इफ समथिंग हैपन्स हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ द टाइम्स इन दैट इज ऑलवेज ओके सो दिस इज द एडवर्ब्स चार्ट यू कैन यूज अब आप एडवर्ब से आपको एक और एडवांटेज मिल गई नाउ यू नो द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ एडवर्ब्स सो दैट यू कैन यूज दैम आप इनको अब यूज कर सकते हैं Uh, जब आपको बताना है कि कितने ऑफन कुछ चीज होती है जैसे आपको पता है ऑफन कब यूज करना है एंड सेल्डम कब यूज करना है समटाइम्स कब यूज करना है ओके सो यू शुड एड दिस टू योर वो कैबलरी नाउ वी विल सी द एग्जाम्पल्स आई ऑलवेज वेकअप एट सिक्स ओ क्लॉक ऑलवेज वेकअप एट सिक्स ओ क्लॉक मीन्स आई वेकअप एट सिक्स ओ क्लॉक हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ द टाइम्स मतलब मैं रोज सुबह सिक्स ओ क्लॉक उठती हूँ then i think there is a mistake here this is <coughs> this is a but this should be an o i'm sorry for the spelling error then i usually come home from work usually usually matlab 90% of the time usually i come home from work maybe rare chances may like 5 10% of the times uh work ke baad kahin aur chale gaye but 90% of the time come home from work i usually come home from work so kaun sa verb words hain jo answer kar rahe hain questions of how often always and usually so ye hain hamare adverbs okay so now let's move on this was the fifth category we have done five categories all right so summarizing all the adverbs that we have done until now uh, the adverbs which answer the question of when are called adverbs of time the ones which answer the question of how are called the adverbs of manner the ones which answer the question of where are the adverbs of place the adverbs which answer the question of how often something happens or happened they are called the adverbs of frequency and the adverbs which answer the question of to what extent something happened or happens uh, they are called the adverbs of degree all right okay now there are these two broad categories 
uh, two more broad categories. One is the adverb of evaluation. They help in evaluating something in the sense, uh, like uh, through an example, if I tell you, hopefully, honestly, clearly, apparently, etc. So if we um, these kind of adverbs. They help in sort of evaluating the situation and giving an opinion. Okay, so here, frankly, frankly is uh, you know, and uh, frank evaluation and uh, the opinion is a frank opinion. So frankly, I don't think this plan will work. All right, so this is an adverb of evaluation. Another one we have is conjunctive adverbs. Conjunctive adverbs, what do they do? They uh, act as a sort of conjunctions in the sense they help in joining two sentences. Like accordingly, namely, additionally, further, hence. Okay, these are conjunctive adverbs. Like an example we have here. Furthermore, I would like to stress on the importance of renewable energy. So furthermore is sort of acting like a conjunction. Here, accordingly, namely, additionally, these are the conjunctive adverbs. All right. And there are, of course, more. So there, there are these two more categories. One is these conjunctive adverbs and the other was the adverbs of evaluation in addition to the uh, five we've already done. Okay. All right. So for the quiz, what we will be doing is now, every question, you will be given one minute. One minute means 60 seconds. Why am I giving you one minute? Because you see, your question paper of IEO, it has about uh, 50 questions. And so you can uh, imagine that, you know, you get more or less a minute to answer the questions. Now, this one minute is the maximum that you should be taking for answering the question. Now suppose there could be two, three, two, three categories of students. First category is suppose you answer the question within that one minute. So I would request you to fast forward the video and uh, skip right to the answer. You should not be wasting your time. All right. Now, the other students who are not able to answer the question in one minute, what you do, you don't skip to the answer. You pause the video and you write down your answer. All right. It is very important to answer each and every question because there is no negative marking. Here you see for every incorrect answer, no points because there is no negative marking in IEO, so it is important that you attempt all the questions. Now for a question of which you are not sure about the answer, now even here and even in the exam, if you are not sure about the answer and you maybe think that B option is might be correct or C option might be correct, so you should uh, in that case Play your luck and play your mind and make a guess and still give an answer because it is a win-win situation. Either you will get the marks for that question or you will get a zero, right? But if you don't attempt that question at all, then you are anyway getting a zero in that, right? So it is good to attempt those questions and uh, even if you don't know all the answers, Try to understand and take a guess. Okay. So this is for every correct answer 10 points. This is just for your, uh, for your own little game where you can try uh, to maintain a notepad. So here you write the name of the chapter and then the question. And then if it is correct, you can give yourself 10 points. If it is not correct, you mark it here. So it is important to mark to see these questions, the ones which you mark incorrect. It is important to go back to them later and then see where you did the mistake. All right. This is just for your reference for every correct answer. You can give yourself 10 points. All right. Now let's uh, start.
all right so now we start off with our questions on adverbs okay so the first category of question say select suitable adverb of manner uh, in the sentence is given below what were adverbs of manner the ones which answer the question of what answer the questions of how something happened okay so let's see here here we have the old man crossed the road uh, correctly bravely carefully or fluently okay now here this one's pretty easy how would someone cross the road which one uh, which adverb of manner is the most suitable here carefully cross the road in a careful manner right Okay, here we have. He talked so dash that I could not grasp even a single word. He talked so clearly, or fast, or gracefully, or correctly. This one's also pretty easy. How would someone talk? Which manner would someone talk in that you would not be able to grasp even a single word? That person would be talking in a fast manner. So he talked so fast. If that person would have been talking clearly or gracefully or correctly. then you would have been able to uh, grasp what he is trying to say right but since this person could not grasp even a single word by logic we can assume that this person was talking fast he talked so fast all right Okay, here we have work dash. If you want to achieve something worthwhile, worthwhile. I'm so sorry. Something worthwhile. Work hardly. Work hardest. Work hard or work more harder. Here the correct answer is C. Work hard. How should a person work if this person wants to achieve something worthwhile? Work hard. Now here hardly. Hardly is actually used as the as an adverb of degree. Answering the question of what extent, you know, something hardly happens, which means something you know uh, doesn't really happen very often. It can be used even as an adverb of frequency. Then we have hardest, more harder. More harder is the comparative degree. Hardest is the superlative degree. All right.
Okay, here we have many Indian women fought dash against the British forces. Slowly, quickly, bravely or quietly. Many Indian women fought bravely. Okay, we're talking uh, about uh, how the uh, freedom fighters, how Indian women fought. So the suitable um, uh, adverb here is bravely, in a brave manner. Not slowly, not quickly, not quietly, but rather out in the open and bravely. Okay. All right, now this one says, all the students answer my questions urgently, anxiously, keenly or correctly. All the, uh, here, which one suits? All the students answered my questions B, correctly. Okay. We just have to, uh, we just have to choose the adverb. Now, all of these are adverbs. All of these are adverbs of manner. But we have to choose the one which is suitable as for the questions. Since we are talking about answering of questions, the more suitable here is correctly, right? Okay, here what we have to do, select suitable adverbs of place in the given, in the sentences given below. What were adverbs of place? The adverbs which answer the question of, okay, what happened? Yes, which answer the question of where? Let's see. Here we have, my grandfather could not find his spectacles anywhere, everywhere, somewhere or nowhere. Could not find, not find spectacles anywhere. All right. Just have read the sentence and choose the one which is suitable. All of these are adverbs of place only. Okay.
okay now next um it is very cold so we remained outdoors indoors outside or away it is easy it is very cold outside so where would you remain you would remain indoors right is a pretty easy logical questions all of these are adverbs of place only we just have to choose the one which makes sense here which one makes sense indoors why because you won't remain outside or uh, uh, outdoors or away when it is cold right Okay, here it says, "I'm going to Mumbai. My uncle lives dash anywhere there, everywhere, and nowhere." Okay, here we are talking about a specific place, Mumbai. So my uncle lives there. Uncle doesn't live anywhere or everywhere or nowhere. As for the question, since we are referring to Mumbai, so my uncle lives there, right? Okay, here we have the train does not stop. Dash is a small station. Does not stop here. Does not stop somewhere. Does not stop everywhere. Does not stop nowhere. Here again, we are referring to a certain place. The train does not stop here. It is a small station. We are referring to a certain place. We just we are not talking about generally that somewhere or everywhere or nowhere. Talking about a specific place, which is here, the small station. All right. Okay, here we have Aditya has gone dash. Tell him to come down. Has gone down. Has gone downstairs. Has gone upwards. 
or uh, has gone upstairs. Okay, now we are telling Aditya to come down. So he must have gone up and where are upstairs? A person doesn't go upwards. A person goes upstairs, up the stairs. Can't say this person went upwards. We use upwards and downwards for things. Okay. So yeah, upstairs. Alright, now here we have, I put my pen dash, I can't find it. Anywhere, everywhere, nowhere or somewhere. Now, uh, this person put uh, his, he can't really put his pen uh, anywhere, okay. Can't put his pen everywhere, can't put his pen nowhere. Put his pen somewhere, that's why he can't find it. I have some place I've kept it, but I can't find it. So, all of these are adverbs of place. Choose the one which is more appropriate as per the situation. Sure. Alright, now here we have uh, the next uh, category. This one says, select suitable adverbs of time in the sentences given below. What do we have to choose? The adverbs of time and which questions do they answer? When? When something happened. Let's see. You can go. I shall come afterwards, before, now or since. This person is asking this person to go. Why? Because I shall come afterwards. Like I will come later. Okay, before something that happened, already now, we talk about right now, since is used when you're talking about a certain time in the past until now.
Okay, here we have do it dash, it's urgent. Do it afterwards, do it now, do it tomorrow, or do it later. Okay, this is pretty easy. We're talking about urgency. It's urgent. When something is urgent, you talk about doing it now. So do it now. B, it's urgent. If it's urgent, then afterwards, tomorrow, later. But since it is urgent, we use B now. Okay? Okay, here we have my father goes for a walk a never be always see daily or d recently pretty easy my father goes for a walk here see daily all right Okay, here I pay the installments yesterday, annually, previously, and last. Okay, so here we are talking about a continuous action that happens. I pay the installments. So a person would be paying the installments in, in a certain period in periodical amounts. So here I pay the installments annually. Right. Either annually or monthly or quarterly. Okay, so it works like that. Installments. Okay, now the next one says, save dash to provide for the future. Save yesterday, save never, save always or save today. This is a saying that, you know, save today to provide for the future. You have to save today to provide for the future, not save yesterday. We can't say save never to provide for the future or save always. 
the one which makes sense is save today all right all of these are adverbs of uh, adverbs of time answering the question of when we just have to choose the one which is the most suitable Okay, here we have our school closes dash for the winter break. School closes yesterday, closes early, closes daily, or closes tomorrow. This one's pretty easy. You see, it's talking about school closes. Okay, talking the present tense. It cannot be yesterday. It uh, cannot uh, uh, be early because it doesn't really happen uh, that you know school closes early every time. Daily, you cannot say school closes daily for the winter break. The one which makes sense is school closes tomorrow. You talk. Telling a person that the school, you know, closes tomorrow for the winter break. Tomorrow is uh, the time when our uh, winter break starts. All right. Okay. So with this, we finish off the questions on adverbs. All right. So. that's all for the class in adverbs we discussed the concept and the examples and the questions if you have made any mistakes in these questions make sure you rectify them go back to the concept revise it and um, that's all um, analyze your strength or weakness and then work on it accordingly all right that's all from my side thank you for watching